Jaguar Football Show with Coach Dawson Odoms, bringing you all the exciting action of the Jaguar Football Program. It's brought to you by Coca-Cola, Louisiana Lottery, Cox Communications, Baton Rouge Metropolitan Airport, Blue Cross and Blue Shield of Louisiana, the Communities of Color Network for Tobacco-Free Louisiana, McLean Financial Group, and Jerry Lane, Buick, and GMC. Welcome to the Jaguar Football Show, where each week Coach Dawson Odoms and I bring you all the exciting action of the Southern University football program. Coach, we are in week seven of the Jaguar Football Show, and it seems like it's going pretty quick, but actually we're at the midway point. Of course, each week we invite you to come out to Le Bon Temps Bar and Grill, located at 8342 Perkins Road. Hang out, have a little libation, have a little food, and talk a little football with Coach and I after we shoot the show. Coach, open week, recruiting, recruiting in high gear. Did you get a chance to see some players that can make a difference for the team next year? Well, yeah, we had a chance to, you know, get some coaches out to some local areas and also some other state areas. And, you know, we're excited about the young men that, that we're on. Uh, of course, we can't mention any names or any other places that we visited, but we're excited about uh, the young men that we're recruiting and we're targeting some of our uh, special needs. Can you talk about some of the special needs as far as position-wise? Well, exactly. You know, we're, we're looking at running back. Of course, we're also always looking at offense and defensive line. And we're also looking at linebackers and uh, tight ends and fullbacks. Those are pretty much our, our needs for right now. Uh, we, we're also looking at uh, raw receivers and, and DBs, but, you know, we definitely are targeting those other areas a lot harder. And if we see a special raw receiver or a special DB, we'll evaluate them and, uh, and recruit them. But right now we definitely have some areas that we're targeting, and pretty much every position is going to be evaluated. And, you know, you lose some players at the end of the year uh, due to various reasons. Uh, so we always got to be recruiting, you know, everybody that's for every position. Well, Coach, you know, now in this world of the Internet and, and social media, there are new ser services out there. Uh, I've been recently introduced to HuddleNet, yeah. and then I've actually had a chance to produce some highlight videos for some kids and put them up on YouTube. Does your staff use those services and use YouTube to see kids and see the talent that's out there? Exactly. Most of the... Most of the film that we evaluate come in on Huddle or YouTube. Uh, there's no more VCR and DVDs. You know, a lot of people putting their stuff on the internet, which you can just send it uh, via email and we can get it right there, pull it up. Uh, we also use this Huddle for how we break down film and look at things as well. So, you know, we're excited about, you know, having that system. Uh, you know, we're excited about our LR, LRS system. You know, both of those systems help us in recruiting talent all over the, uh, across the United States. Well, Coach, as we usually do when we have an open week, we create a highlight reel of the previous games that the Jaguars have played. And this week is unlike any other week. We did it again. And, Coach, we're going to start off with your defensive players and look at some of those big hits from the first five games. And here we have Virgil Williams doing what he does best and shutting down uh, a pass play. Coach, have you been happy with what you've gotten defensively, uh, especially the last couple of games versus the beginning of the year? Well, yeah, I think we're getting better every week, you know, and I think we're going to continue to get better. You know, if you want to win football games, you got to be able to stop people. And, you know, these guys are starting to understand better what we're doing, and it's just great to see them having some success. Coach, I, I've really been impressed with uh, a guy who, who actually took a couple of, of uh, games to get into it, uh, Deontay McDuffie. He, he really, really comes to hit and he really comes to play every week. Well, yeah, he definitely a strike. You know, you, you know, he don't mind coming downhill off the hash from the safety position and, and really putting that Rydell on you. DeAndre Woodland, the uh, defensive back also, Coach, has really, really stepped up his game and uh, been a nice bright spot for your defense. 
Well, you know, young man, he came into his own last year, you know, really getting to play a lot more this year due to some injuries or some other guys. He stepped in there and that was him he's making, making a play plays. right there exactly. in the Valley game. He's getting the chance to make a lot of plays, and we're excited about where he's at right now. Talking about both of those young men, you just saw um, McDuffie strike the guy from, from Valley. Coach, these guys are hitting like Mack trucks out there. Well, you got, you know, it's hard to intimidate, you know, in football anymore with all the rules. So when you get a chance to, to really put the lumber on somebody, you got to really do a good job of it. We got some safeties back there that don't mind doing that. Coach, you know, the first couple of games, we gave up a, a lot of points to U of H and, and uh, Northwestern State. Then the last three games, outside of the Prairie View game, which was a shootout, last three games, we've actually held our opponents to, you know, fairly respectable scores. What, what, what was the change? What happened that we were able to uh, stop some of those offenses from getting the yardage and the points they were getting initially? Well, I think you see it in the highlights is tackling. You know, once you got guys in position, they got to make plays, and you're starting to see some defensive guys out there that's, that's making plays. So fundamentals and wrapping up and bringing somebody down. That's, that's the bottom line on defense. You can get in position uh, and make tackles. You're going to have a chance to be pretty good on defense. Coach, talk about your linebacking core. You know, you had a, a, a really, really good linebacking core coming back from last year, Balancier, uh, D-Train Lindsey, Francho West, guys who had a lot of time and a lot of experience. How, are, you, are you pleased with where they are, or can they be better for the Jaguar football team? Well, we're going to need those guys to be better. You know, I think as we go down the stretch, they got to improve their performance. Man, everybody got to raise their level uh, if we want to win football games. And uh, I think we're okay with them through the first five games. But we understand we're only as good as those guys. They have a, uh, exceptional speed and talent at the, at the linebacker spot. And we're excited about these guys going down the stretch. Well, when we come back, we'll look at some offensive highlights from the first five games of 2013. Stay with us on the Jaguar Football Show. Want to get here? It's totally awesome. How about here? Wow. Well, it all starts with the Black and Gold Saints scratch-off from the lottery. Win up to $100,000. Enter our second chance drawings and you could win a 2013 Saints game day prize package, autograph Saints merchandise, or the fan experience of a lifetime. It's just unbelievable. I'll never forget it. Show your true colors with the Black and Gold Saints scratch-off from the lottery. is football, and you're looking at football's biggest fan. I sit close to the TV just so I can join the huddle. I know 38 mascots on a first-name basis, and I never miss a touchdown. Ready for football? Cox has over 700 pro and college games this season, and more games than ever before online and on your mobile device. Score 50% off NFL Red Zone when you bundle. I refuse to eat turnovers. Cox is football! When you fly with Baton Rouge Metro Airport, you'll see how we've been working hard to make things easier for you, like the closest parking of any airport in its class, faster check-in, friendly, easygoing people to help you on your way, shorter security lines, quality shops and vending, and a team committed to safe and efficient operations so you can get back to what matters most to you. The next time you travel, keep it simple. Baton Rouge Metropolitan Airport. Fly easy. A new dawn in Southern athletics approaches. One measured by the relentless pursuit of academic excellence and athletic glory. There is just one thing missing from my Jaguar Jamboree. You. A Southern rebirth is firmly taking shape on the bluffs of the Mississippi. But to propel the Jaguar nation to new heights, we need you. Because Southern deserves a, a nation, nation united. united.
Welcome back to the Jaguar Football Show. Coach Dawson Odom is now just sitting here talking about uh, some of the plays, and we're excited to show you some of the offensive plays of 2013 and show you what the Jaguar offense can do. Coach, sometimes your offense has been stagnant at times, and other times it's lit up the board like it was an EA uh, NCAA football game. Mm -hmm. I know you'd prefer to see that version as opposed to the latter. What does it take to get the Jaguar offense into high gear? Well, I think coming out of this bye week, we got a chance to really focus on some things to, to generate more points. And I think uh, fans would be excited about seeing our new offense coming out of the uh, bye week. And all we did was simplify things and really go back and look at those first five games and see what we did well and put it in a package and say, this is what our base is going to be and here's our foundation. Let's go see if we can win football games. Coach, two guys that really, really, really get me excited about Southern offense are Willie Quinn right there doing his thing and uh, Lee Dolph, your, your number one receiver. Sometimes I see we only get those guys the ball five, six times a game. What can we do to get those guys the ball 12 to 15 times a game and let them make plays because they're playmakers? Well, I think you got to get other guys. Other guys got to step up and make plays. Uh, they're going to take those two guys away. If you're a good defense, you're going to take away what a team like to do best, and that's what they're doing. So that's why you're getting to see Leonard Tillery make some long runs, and you know some other receivers are going to have to step up and make some plays and take the pressure off those guys, so that when we do get our one-on-one -on -one matchups, then we can get back to getting our playmakers to football. Well, I tell you what, Tillery is as advertised. I've been really, really pleased with his production for you on the field uh, since he got healthy. Uh, but another young man in the backfield for you, Coach Coleman, has really played good for the Jaguars this year as well. Exactly. You know, he's a running back for us that really started back there the first half of the season because, uh, you know, Tilly was out with some injuries those first three games. And, you know, it's just exciting to have that kind of leadership back there where you can put another running back in there and not lose a beat. And talking about Tillery, you see him take one in right there for a touchdown. And, of course, we were talking about uh, Dre Joseph to lead Dosh to see Dre pulling one in and doing his thing. Uh, Coach, talking about these guys, Dre, I mean, Lee Doss, does he have the ability to play at the next level? Well, yeah, I think his uh, attitude and speed are going to be the two things that, that the next level look at in question. You know, if he can get those two, you know, under control and master both of them and get them down to, to near perfection because in the NFL, you got to be able to run. So a slow route receiver don't do you no justice. So if he can get his 40 time down at the end of the season, as he get prepared to start working for the next level and just have that right attitude, then, you know, the sky's the limit about whether or not he can play at that next level. Coach, who's been your biggest surprise uh, in 2013 as we reached the halfway point on offense and defense? And uh, someone who, you know, you thought may have it, but then they actually showed it when they had the chance to prove it. Uh, I think uh, in a wide receiver core, I think Sam Altman has really been a steady guy. That's a guy good one. Altman that, has had a good year for yeah, you. He's been a steady guy, you know. I think in the running game, passing game, he's an all-around wide receiver that – that we misses him when he's out of football games. You know, he definitely uh, give us a chance to be that third guy. And on defense, um, I think D-Train Lindsey up until this first half of the season has had a tremendous start. You know, him and Daniel Brown have really played outstanding football for us. Christian Allen also has played good, I thought, for the defense coach. And uh, a, a surprise has been Bradley Coleman. Uh, uh, is he a tight end? He's a wide receiver? Uh, but he's made some good catches for us, hasn't he? Exactly. He's a tight end for us that, you know, we have the ability to flex him out as a wide right receiver and really create some mismatch problems. But he's definitely one of our high-energy guys and one of our go-to guys. And, you know, if you can get Willie Quinn, Lee Dawes, Sam Altman, Bradley Coleman, you know, you keep listing all those names, Leonard Tillery, and you, and you see weapons, man, if we can get them all going at the same time, you can see how we can score 62 points. One of the more unique plays of the 2013 season, the offensive lineman catching the tip pass. I bet you had to be tickled pink after the game, Coach. Well, it couldn't happen for a better guy. Zach Brown has uh, done an uh, outstanding job. Our offensive line really has played well through the first half of the season, and that's why you getting to see Lee Joss and Dre Joseph hook up a lot because that old line is protected very well. How is uh, Dre doing with injuries, Coach? 
Well, I think he's as close to 100% as he's been since we started the season, and that's exciting. We're going to need everybody to be healthy going down the stretch. He threw the ball well today. Uh, he seemed to be himself this week. Uh, you know, he was coming off some injuries um, in week six. And so we just excited about having a healthy Dre Joseph because we know uh, he's as good as they come. And so as long as he stay healthy, we got a chance. Very good. Well, when we come back, we'll look at our Cox Players of the Week for the open week. And we'll also have our Jaguar Question of the Day. Stay with us on the Jaguar Football Show. Did you know smoking and tobacco use damages nearly every organ in your body? Don't you think you deserve more than heart disease, lung disease, cancer? Stay away from the toxic chemicals of tobacco and smoking. Tobacco smoke hurts anyone who breathes it, including family and friends. Communities of Color Network supports a tobacco-free Louisiana. To gain financial success, the first step is getting in the game with planning your retirement. With so much uncertainty in the financial world, it's crucial to have someone on your team that understands your financial goals and can navigate you to obtaining your dream to financial freedom. McLean Financial Group advises in many areas. We pride ourselves on strategic financial planning and serving our clients, a great combination to obtain financial freedom. Get in the game and let McLean Financial Group design your customized financial playbook and quarterback you to financial independence. Healthcare reform is bringing change, but one thing that won't change is our commitment to you. We're Blue Cross and Blue Shield of Louisiana. We're a not-for-profit company, and we work for you. And whatever changes come our way, you can count on us. Count on us to pay your claims. To answer your questions. To give you the service you deserve. You can count on us to be there when you need us. That's our promise to you. To get more answers on healthcare reform, visit us at bcbsla.com slash healthcare reform. Jerry Lane, they rolled the red carpet out for me. It's always been Jerry. Jerry Lane. You know what? It's tradition. It's family. And that's what keeps us coming back to Jerry Lane. Get the lane, get the lane. Welcome back to the Jaguar Football Show, where each week we come to you from Le Bon Temps Bar and Grill, located at 8342 Perkins Road. Of course, we invite you to come out Monday nights in the neighborhood of 7 o'clock and join us. Coach, at this point in every show, we award the Cox Players of the Week. And of course, somebody's out there saying, but you didn't have a game. How can you have a Player of the Week? Well, we still have a Player of the Week who exhibits leadership, who gets their teammates to do the right thing, even in the off week. So who are our Cox Players of the Week in the off week? Well, offensively, I think you have to look at, you know, several guys. And really, I want to target some scout team guys who really don't get a lot of credit, but they do an outstanding job of getting our team prepared to play. Offensively, we've got a running back uh, that's a freshman walk-on and Herb Edwards uh, from out of New Orleans and Adam Vance, who's a, who's a walk-on tight end who does an outstremely. I mean, these guys do a job that's, like, well done. And defensively, you know, we have several guys that are – that really are backups uh, to our starters. Antonio Garrett, who, who does exactly everything you would want from a leadership standpoint for us, just giving us a good look and giving us the energy that we need at practice. And, you know, Caesar Mason is another guy that, I mean, when we need help and we need scouts, and they always the first guys to run out there. And it's, it's just important to have those guys, and I just want to mention those guys for the outstanding job they do on the scout team and, and the kind of leadership they bring to our football team. Well, there you have it, the Cox Players of the Week for the Open Week. Coach, looking at the 2013 season, halfway there, but the reality is all of our goals are still clearly in front of us. Winning the SWAC Western Division, winning the SWAC Championship. Do your kids realize that? Well, we had a meeting today, and we threw out the first five games of our season. And I just let them know that, you know, this is everything you want. You're in the driver's seat. You know, it is what you make of it. And we can talk about it, but at the end of the day on Saturdays, you got to go out and play. And, you know, 
that's what it's all about. These guys got to understand that, you know, you got is just as good a chance as anybody else if you go out and play and do the necessary things to win football games. So we're excited about our position, but it's a lot of football left to be played, and we control our own fate. Coach, we used to do a feature with Coach Pete Richardson called Around the Swag, and because we have an open week and a little time, we're going to jump into a little bit of Around the Swag. PV beats Graham 31-3 in the State Fair Classic. Were you surprised at all at that? Well, no, I know PV was coming off a big win against, I think, Stephen F. Austin and probably had a little let down, you know, just because of all the attention that the State Fair Classic brings. But they're an outstanding football team, and they're one of the better teams in, in our conference, and we were able to get squeak a win out against them. So, you know, definitely going down the stretch, they'll be one of the hot teams everybody will be talking about. Jay State beats one of our upcoming foes, UAPB, 42-33 in Jackson. Well, you know, they had to make some second-half adjustments again. They started finding themselves behind. But Jay State got two running backs, and if you look at the stats from that game, uh, they ran the football, man, and they can do that very well and, and look like they were able to score some points. So, you know, teams are struggling. You know, a lot of teams in the conference are giving up some points. So if you can stop people, you're definitely going to have a chance to win football games. For the sake of time, Coach, Al Alcorn beat Warner 57-0. Alabama State beat Texas Southern 34-2. But Valley beat our next opponent, Alabama A&M, 28-9. Do you put much stock into that because we beat Valley? No, I think every week, man, it's a different circumstances. You got to go out and play. Uh, Valley went out and played and won their football game, which has no bearings on whether or not we're going to win our football game. You know, you got to regroup, you got to be focused, and you got to play. You know, one thing about college football, any given Saturday, anybody can get beat. So you got to be ready to play when it's time to play. And, and that's what we're talking about every day, just making sure our team be ready to play when it's time to play. Okay, when we come back, we'll talk a little bit more about Southern Jaguar football with Coach Dawson Odoms on the Jaguar football show. Stay with us. You want to get here? This is totally awesome. How about here? Wow. Well, it all starts with a black and gold Saints scratch-off from the lottery. Win up to $100,000. Enter our second chance drawings and you could win a 2013 Saints game day prize package, autographed Saints merchandise, or the fan experience of a lifetime. It's just unbelievable. I'll never forget it. Show your true colors with the black and gold Saints scratch-off from the lottery. is football, and you're looking at football's biggest fan. I sit close to the TV just so I can join the huddle. I know 38 mascots on a first name basis, and I never miss a touchdown. Ready for football? Cox has over 700 pro and college games this season, and more games than ever before online and on your mobile device. Score 50% off NFL Red Zone when you bundle. I refuse to eat turnovers. Cox is football! When you fly with Baton Rouge Metro Airport, you'll see how we've been working hard to make things easier for you, like the closest parking of any airport in its class, faster check-in, friendly, easygoing people to help you on your way, shorter security lines, quality shops and vending, and a team committed to safe and efficient operations so you can get back to what matters most to you. The next time you travel, keep it simple. Baton Rouge Metropolitan Airport. Fly easy. A new dawn in Southern Athletics approaches. One measured by the relentless pursuit of academic excellence and athletic glory. There is just one thing missing from our Jaguar Jamboree. You. A Southern Rebirth is firmly taking shape on the bluffs of the Mississippi. But to propel the Jaguar Nation to new heights, we need you. Because Southern deserves a, a nation, nation united. united.
Welcome back to the Jaguar Football Show. Of course, Coach and I have gotten with the social media craze, and each week you can go on our Jaguar Football Show Facebook page and ask Coach a question. This week, the question comes from a young lady named April Way, who's a passionate Southern football fan, and she says, Coach, uh, she wanted to ask you about running the ball on third down, and she also wanted to uh, know about giving the game away at Jackson, I mean, against Jackson State. So talk to her about running the ball on third down versus, I guess, passing. Well, you know, I think it all depends on down and distance and, and what you're trying to do, how much time is on the clock. Running the ball on third down is, is not bad. You know, it just depends on how far you got to go to get a first down. And, you know, one slipped away at Jackson. I don't think we gave it away. I think we played ourselves into a football game where we actually gave ourselves a chance to win. We didn't execute in the end, and unfortunately we came away with a loss. So, you know, that's, those things happen, and we don't want them to happen too much. So, you know, we made some corrections and moving on. Okay, there you have it, April. When we come back, we'll wrap up this week's edition of the Jaguar Football Show. Stay with us. Did you know smoking and tobacco use damages nearly every organ in your body? Don't you think you deserve more than heart disease, lung disease, cancer? Stay away from the toxic chemicals of tobacco and smoking. Tobacco smoke hurts anyone who breathes it, including family and friends. Communities of Color Network supports a tobacco-free Louisiana. To gain financial success, the first step is getting in the game with planning your retirement. With so much uncertainty in the financial world, it's crucial to have someone on your team that understands your financial goals and can navigate you to obtaining your dream to financial freedom. McLean Financial Group advises in many areas. We pride ourselves on strategic financial planning and serving our clients, a great combination to obtain financial freedom. Get in the game and let McLean Financial Group design your customized financial playbook and quarterback you to financial independence. Healthcare reform is bringing change, but one thing that won't change is our commitment to you. We're Blue Cross and Blue Shield of Louisiana. We're a not-for-profit company, and we work for you. And whatever changes come our way, you can count on us. Count on us to pay your claims. To answer your questions. To give you the service you deserve. You can count on us to be there when you need us. That's our promise to you. To get more answers on healthcare reform, visit us at bcbsla.com slash healthcare reform. Jerry Lane, they rolled the red carpet out for me. It's always been Jerry. You know what? It's tradition, it's family, and that's what keeps us coming back to Jerry Lane. Get the lane, get the lane. Coach, keys to victory this weekend against Alabama A&M. Well, we've got to win turnovers, got to win penalties, and got to win the effort. All right, there you have it from Coach. Go Jags! Go Jags! <laughs>